Hey, what's up YouTube? My name is Axel, and today I'm going to show you how to slow down your footage in Premiere Pro CC. Let's jump right in. Before we actually jump into Premiere Pro, there's a few things I need to explain. First are the different frame rates. So usually there's four, there's 23 frames, 30 frames, 60 frames, and 120 frames. But the easiest way to explain it, at least in the context of slow motion, is that the more frames you have, the better slow motion footage you have. Look at it this way. If you have one second of footage, you can either have 23 photos in it, 60 photos in it, 30 photos in it, or 120 photos in it. Now, when you slow down that second from one second to three seconds, what's gonna be smoother? The 23 photos per second or the 120 photos per second? The 120, of course. So now that you know that, it's gonna be a little bit easier to understand some of the stuff we're gonna talk about in Premiere. So here we are in Premiere Pro CC 2021, and I just have some footage of my boy Sam flying my drone. It was his first time ever flying a drone, so it was hilarious, but once he got it up in the air and he stopped freaking out, I thought it'd be cool to get some B-roll footage and I shot it in 60 frames per second. I shoot everything with the EOS R, so I go back and forth between 23 frames per second, which is what all my videos are shot in, and then 60 frames per second. I never touch 30, and technically I could do 120, but it'll be in 720, so I don't really mess with that. So for the example today, I have four different clips. Half of them are in 23 frames per second, and the other half are 60 frames per second. So let's watch this clip first. There's no edits on it, no slow motion, nothing. So now we're gonna select the clip and hit Command R, and it's gonna give you this clip speed and duration. What you're gonna wanna do is switch that speed to 50%. Now keep in mind, this is the 23 frames per second clip, slowed down. It's super choppy, not smooth at all, looks really amateur. And that's what's gonna happen when you try to slow down 30 frames per second. Now, not every camera can shoot in high frame rates, or maybe you just forget you're out shooting your vlog or shooting some type of video, and you just forget to switch back from 23 to 60 or from 30 to 60. So one thing you can do is go back to the clip speed duration by hitting Command R. And if you go to time interpolation, I think that's how you say it, and go to optical flow. So what that's gonna do is blend the frames together and let's see how that looks. It looks a little bit better, but not great. Now let's go to a clip that was shot at 60 frames per second. And this is kind of the same idea shot. He's holding the controller. I'm slowly panning across. So remember, hit Command R, clip and speed duration, and let's move this to 50%. And now let's watch this clip. So much smoother, cleaner, more professional, and it lets you do more things. The smoother that footage is, now I can add some keyframes around it to make it even look more cinematic and more professional. Now for my other example, we're gonna go back to a 23 frame per second clip. This clip specifically is gonna be focused on his face. So we're gonna go back in, Command R, 50%, and let's do optical flow this time right off the rip. Optical flow, hit OK, and let's see how this looks. Honestly, looking back, I think it looks pretty good, except when he starts talking, then you can kind of see the little stutter that 23 frames per second has being slowed down. And there you go, YouTube. That's a quick and easy way to slow down your footage. Please make sure to like the video and subscribe, and comment below if you have any ideas for future content. Love you guys, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.